Welcome to our next tutorial of uh, Quick Surface. In this tutorial, we will learn how to use the fillet command. Fillet command is used when you want to round the edges. During the construction, during, using trimming, you create sharp edges like this one on the screen. So in reality, they may need to be rounded. Let's take a look how we can use this. I will just show the original mesh so you can see that here it's a bit rounded and uh, we want to make it uh, a bit better. The way it works is, I will just hide this mesh as I don't need it. The way it works is that we just select the object on which we want to work on and create a fillet. Right click on the screen and select fillet or we just select the fillet from the toolbar. The user can now move the mouse and highlight the edges that needs to be filleted. I can just come here and click on this edge. If the edges have continuity, then we don't need to select all of them, but just only one. The software automatically takes the middle point of the edge we selected and displays a point where the middle point is and an arrow. The way we can apply now fillet is just by typing our desired radius. Let's try with one. The software automatically creates a fillet. In this case, it needs to be much smaller. I can just put 0.1 and create preview. At any point, if you are not happy with the result, you just press reset and all the edges that needs to be filled will be removed. So I will click here again. In some cases, we don't really know about what the fillet needs to be, whether it should be 0.1 millimeter, 1 millimeter, or 10 millimeter. So that's why we just move the cursor over the arrow, it becomes a hand. We hold the left mouse button and we start moving to generate and create the, the fillet. As you see now, the software automatically takes the continuance of the edges and creates our fillet. So now we can get better feeling how big this fillet is and what we want to achieve. The radius is automatically updated, so you can see here and you can come and make it exact, for example 0 0.3. When you're ready, you just press OK. Now we have a rounded edge. If we take a look at the reference mesh, there is a big uh, fillet here, and during the reconstruction, although I, I could make this rounding in the um, revolved surface itself, I intentionally created this with the sharp edges. So we'll try to create a fillet here. I just select the object, right click and create fillet. Before I begin, I will just turn the tolerance option on. This will help us to see immediately in the real time how close we are to the reference mesh. In our current example, I see that my tolerance is 0.5 mm, so I can just change it and I make it 50 microns. Now I just highlight my edge of interest, I click, and then I see the arrow which is ready to be dragged. Again, as in the other example, I will just move the mouse on top of the arrow, hold the left key and start dragging. In this case, you see that the color is actually red because we are far above the distance from the, our expectations. And now, during the movement, I can actually, in real time, see how much my deviation from the surfaces. So and currently I just can move until it becomes green, but this is imperfect. And I can see my results in real time. So in this example, now I see that it's probably two millimeters, which is too small, or three millimeters, I click preview. And then I do this until I'm happy. When I'm done, I just press OK. Let's try a multiple edges. I'll just select this and 
going for filleting. I can just pick this, then I can click on the other one, and as you see, you don't need to press Control or Alt. If you click on an edge, it's automatically added to the number of edges that you need to fill it. If you want to remove an edge and you don't want to apply fill it, you just go again and click and it will be removed from the selection. In this case, because this is a pattern, I will just click on all of the edges which are the same and now when I start creating the fillet it will be applied to all of the edges so I slightly start moving again I have no idea what the size is but I can visually see my fillet and then I can get an idea what's going on in this example if you try to move it just tries to to create the fillet and if it fails you get an error message at the bottom now I just got a 0.2 millimeters. I can refine this and make it 0.2 to get the best result. As you see, all of the selected edges have the same fillet applied. When I'm ready, I can press done, OK, and I can get my fillet. These are the basics about the fillet operation. Thank you for watching.